what's up dude too so today we're experimenting and i'm gonna create my very own barbecue sauce with all these ingredients uh apricots we're gonna pit these as you can see we're gonna use some jack daniels tennessee honey apple cider vinegar a little smoked paprika some onion powder I call it Winchester. I, I can't remember how to say the damn name, so I'm not even gonna try. So whatever the heck you guys call that, all right? That, that shit right there, you can read it. We're gonna use some of this garlic sauce. So, sorry, garlic salt. Powder. Powder. Some dried tomatoes. It's dried tomatoes also. A little bit more dried tomatoes. And some brown sugar. I'm only gonna use three of these peppers because they're they got a lot of spunk in them. So. Yeah, they're the uh, sugar rush peach from Baker Creek that we grew this year. So we're gonna throw all this together. Uh, we'll write down the measurements and the exact weight of the apricots, so you guys can try this at home. And then we're going to jar it up and give it a whirl. So I'm gonna add one cup Jack Daniel's Tennessee honey. Your apricots. Yep. And, and we're gonna add one cup of brown sugar. We're also gonna add four ounces of dried tomatoes that we had. These are from last year's garden. Yep. So we got about a half a cup of garlic powder that we're gonna add and we're gonna keep adding depending on you know what you taste buds like or in this case what my taste was like i'm also gonna add just for starters i'm gonna add one teaspoon of smoked paprika more or less Onion powder. This is the onion powder. It's about a teaspoon. Okay. Four shakes. About four shakes. Uh, no. Okay. About four shakes of the Winchester sauce. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. It's easier to say Winchester. <laughs> and then the apple cider, the cider vinegar. I'm not gonna add a whole lot because I really don't like vinegar. Well, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Oh, one tablespoon of the vinegar. And the last thing I'm going to add to it is going to be the three peppers. What are they called again? They are Sugar Rush Peach. Sugar Rush Peach. Uh, I don't care what their name. Trust me, don't trust the name because I know these are hot. And I'm throwing them in. I'm not cutting them up or nothing. I'm just throwing them in whole. Sorry. Now we're just going to add a little bit of water to that and get it boiling. And I'm going to go ahead and add two cups of water to this. And now we'll get it boiling. All right, so we're going to add one can of tomato paste. That's going to give it a little more tomato -y taste. These were really sweet apricots. <laughs> look like once you get all of this stuff boiled down you just take your stick blender and blend it all up all right and some garlic salt now you get to add the garlic salt <laughs> and blend this in. so as you can see the sauce is ready to go it's all been blended now we're gonna do is get it pour it into the jars and then can them but tell them what you did I ended up adding two more shots of the Jack Daniels Tennessee honey. 
and I added some garlic salt because I felt like it needed it. And you added a little more heat. And I did add a little bit more heat and I used my crushed pepper that I make here at home. I'm pretty sure I made a video on it. If not, I will make one so you guys know what it is. Okay, all right, so we got our water bath canner going. We're getting that up to boil. He's filling these up to about half inch head space and then I am going to wipe off the rims as he's filling them so the lids are clean or the, the lip is clean before we put the lids on. Like I said, I'm just wiping the rims off with some vinegar water and then I'm going to put the lid on there and I'm screwing the top on just finger tight. I'm not going crazy tight. Now that it's all there you go. done, let's throw that around the grill. Homemade barbecue sauce. On chicken. <laughs> now we just let it cook. So here's your end result. Pretty much Jack Daniel Tennessee honey barbecue sauce that we made with Jack Daniels. It's not theirs, and I do not own the rights to them, but I did use them.